week we read the portion of Vayechi. It is the final portion of the book of Bereshis. And the Torah tells us that Yaakov lived 17 years in the land of Egypt. And the commentary of the Balaturim states that not only did Yaakov live 17 years in Egypt, but actually they were the 17 best years of his life. The question is asked, how is it possible that the land of Egypt, which was known to be an immoral place, Erevah Saaretz, how is it possible that Yaakov Avinu, the greatest of our forefathers, should have the best years of his life in Egypt? Now, I remember many years ago, I went to visit a Rosh Hashiva of mine, Rabbi Bukit, Zuchrein Lebracha, and he asked me this question. And he explained that when Yaakov and his family were in the land of Egypt, all the brothers lived in peace and harmony. And therefore, even though Yaakov was in the land of Egypt, but because of the love and unity that existed amongst the Jewish people, amongst the children of Yaakov at that time, that made it the best years of his life. The lesson for, for us all is quite simple. We have to remember that what's most important to the Almighty, to God, is to see His children live together in love, peace, and harmony. May God bless us with true love for one another, with true Abbas Yisrael, and in that merit, this past Sunday when we commemorate the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash, it will be turned into a day of joy and happiness with the coming of Mashiach, and we will see the rebuilding of the third Beis HaMikdash in Heira Amen.